and in this video we are going to study about the loops in Kotlin so uh, before studying uh, the loops the first question that should arise is uh, why are the loops used or uh, why should we use the loop so uh, when i have to print uh, the numbers from 1 to 10 uh, or i have to print uh, a variable that is i and increase the variable after each print statement so uh, what I can do is I can write a variable that is equals to 1 okay and then I can write a print statement to print i and then I can increase the i okay and I can repeat the same block of code again and again to uh, execute the statement okay so if I said if I said I have to print all the natural numbers from 1 to 10 so firstly I have to uh, repeat the particular block of code again and again and <coughs> I cannot know where to stop or I have to manually uh, count the number of iterations so uh, like I have here you uh, written the code and it prints all the natural numbers from 1 to 5 so this is a redundant code and uh, it requires a, lo a lot of a uh, lot of uh, like I have to count the, uh, the the number of iterations and it is a redundant code so uh, what could we do to make it less redundant and uh, short code and organized code so we can use loops instead of repeating the same block of code again and again so what is a loop a loop is something repeating itself okay so uh, when you uh, listen to song you put them on loop so what it does it 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 repeats the song after the song is completed okay so there are three types of loop in, loops in kotlin for loop while loop and do while loop so uh, let's say we want to print all the natural numbers from 1 to 10 okay so uh, firstly uh, we can see uh, what is the syntax for for loop so the syntax is uh, for and here is the condition and then the loop starts okay and uh, then the code ends and between this there is a particular code sequence that got that gets repeated in each iteration okay so we use the keyword for and then we introduced some parameters that uh, checks the the condition and uh, increase the iterator and initialize the iterator okay and then at the end we close the curly braces and the co code inside the curly braces gets repeated at each iteration okay so uh, let's say we want to pill, uh, print all the natural numbers from 1 to 10 okay so we know that loop repeats a particular code sequence now we also need something to count from 1 to 10 hence a counter is needed that must be incremented incremented at each iteration okay so uh, as we have already discussed the syntax for for loop let's go ahead and uh, make a code to print all the natural numbers from 1 to 10 okay so I'll write for now remember we have learned about the in uh, in, in uh, statement in Kotlin so I will uh, introduce the iterator here okay so for uh, the iterator uh, show, uh, must uh, like uh, if it not if it is not initialized outside the for loop it is okay so I'll, init uh, I'll initialize i here and use the in operator okay so i in now 1 to 10 okay as I mentioned if I have to uh, uh, for particular condition 1 to 10 I use the in operator and the two dots okay so for i in 1 to 10 okay and then I have to just go ahead and print i okay so when I <coughs> run this function or on this particular block of code 
I can see that uh, it prints all the natural numbers from 1 to 10 okay so uh, there are some points that I would like to point out like for uh, in the for loop there is no need to initialize the iterator as I already mentioned and there is no need to increase the operator in for loop okay so you can see that I haven't have not write the uh, I plus plus here okay because uh, when I write I plus plus here we can show we can see that there is a uh, error and it shows that well cannot be reassigned so whenever I enter in the for loop I very value I is created and it is assigned the particular uh, number that that the loop is giving going on okay so it is a value not a variable in for loop the i although its value changes after each iteration but it is a value not a variable okay so the default increment of an iterator is uh, one so as you uh, might have seen that uh, iterator after each iteration increase by one not by 2 not by 3 so what if I have to uh, print all the odd numbers in 1 to 20 so then I have to uh, iterate i in 1 to 20 and I have to also increase the uh, iterator by 2 so for increasing the iterator by 2 we need to use the step function so I'll just write here step 2 now what the step function does is it increases the iterator by 2 so when I go ahead and run this function we can see that after each iteration the iterator increases by 2 and hence prints all the odd numbers from 1 to 20 okay now what if I have to uh, print all the natural numbers from 10 to 1 not from 1 to 10 so you might think that uh, I can write here 10.1 okay so when I go ahead and uh, run this function you can see that uh, it just exits it just exits with uh, code 0 okay why 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 it happens because at the particular point when it enters the for loop it is assigned the it is checked that if it is in 10 or 10 to 1 okay it must be greater than or equal to 10 and less than or equal to 1 so there is no integer that is greater than or equal to 10 or less than or equal to 1 okay and I would like to mention one thing also uh, whenever I define uh, anything like this okay I just take mention it 11 so whenever I define anything like this the by default um, value assigned to i is the first value here okay so in this case the by default value assigned to i is 10 now uh, getting back to our original question that what if I have to print all the statement from 10 to 1 so I'll use the down to function so for out i in 1 i in 10 i in 10 instead of the two dots I'll use down to and 1 so in this we can see that the i should be less than equals to 10 and greater than equals to 1 so now when i go ahead and print this uh, we can see that it prints all the natural numbers from 10 to 1 so that is about the down to function okay so uh, in the next video we will see about uh, the while and the do while loops in kotlin this is all for this video. Thank you.